What is up bodyweight exercise fans shooting from my bathroom today? I hope you don't mind if the light and the sound is not that bad. I might be doing some more videos here, weather was bad. So uh, let me know if this setup works, if you hear me clearly. Uh, moving on to today's topic, whole body training versus split body training. What is best for building an aesthetic bodyweight exercise physique? So. As you probably know, if you've been following me for a while, I'm a big proponent of whole body training. Uh, it's the structure that I always choose. And what are the reasons for that? Well, we can start with two reasons, pretty often mentioned, uh, two benefits. Number one is increased anabolic hormonal response. And number two, increased fat loss. Now these, uh, let's start with the first one, increased anabolic hormonal response. Uh, there's research there that you could use to support this, but it's still uh, it's still debatable, I would say. Um, uh, so you know, take that with a little bit of uh, a grain of salt. That's the expression, I think, right? So, um, but keep in mind that that's not, not the most important benefit. Moving on to increased fat loss, uh, I would say I agree with this. Again, uh, it's not fully supported. Uh, you know, there, there's still contradictory opinions here, uh, but what I do experience when I train whole body, uh, especially when I do circuits, uh, uh, I feel as if my metabolism, so uh, you know, this is one of the benefits for increased fat loss that you, uh, whole body training increases your metabolism. What I feel the first 12 hours after doing a whole body circuit uh, is as if my metabolism has kicked up a gear. Uh, so, you know, I feel my whole body buzzing and I feel that a lot more intense in comparison if I do a split. Um, so uh, again, uh, that, that probably has to do also with increased, uh, increased blood uh, supply to all your body. So you know, you increase your blood, your body basically is pumping blood all over. Um, so your heart is pumping blood all over your body. Uh, that might be a reason this happens. Uh, but once again, what's most important, both with uh, hormonal response and about hormonal response and fat loss is total training volume per week. You know, what matters most is how much work are you getting done in the end of the week? Uh, you know, how much work you're getting done for each muscle group? How much work are you getting done uh, in terms of burning calories? You know, that, those are, this is the most important thing to keep in mind about these two benefits. Now, why do I support then whole body training? What's the biggest benefit that I see? Uh, I would say that is, practicality, uh, flexibility uh, that you get with whole body training. Now, what's the most important thing for making progress in the long run with a workout routine? If you wanna you know, sculpt an aesthetic body weight exercise physique, if you wanna keep on uh, increasing uh, muscle, if you wanna keep on build, uh, burning fat, goals like these, what's most important is consistency. So uh, what's the workout structure that is most practical for you? Now, uh, what happens with split routines is like, let's say you have a typical split routine, which is uh, chest day, back day, leg day, and like shoulder and arm day, you know, shoulder and abs day, whatever that is. Uh, if you miss a workout, uh, what happens is that your whole uh, workout flow of the week falls apart. Cause like, let's say you miss back day, the next day you're gonna be thinking, should I do legs? But if I do legs, I won't have time to um, do my back for the rest of the week. I'm gonna have, you're gonna have to skip something, you know, usually when you're using split routines. Not all of them, but with a lot of them. So, uh, with whole body routines, you know, it doesn't matter. You miss a workout, you can do it the next day after two days. What matters most is that you get two whole body workouts per week minimum, because uh, that's what's going to give you at least uh, maintenance when it comes to your results. Uh, if you train less than that, if you hit a muscle group less than that, uh, if you leave more than three days uh, a muscle group untrained, it starts to go back to its untrained state. We mentioned this in uh, Training Frequency, the video I made, I'm going to include it above. So uh, very important, whole body training, I would say, uh, trumps splits always, uh, it's a lot more practical to use, more flexible, also especially with bodyweight training where you have only a specific amount of effective exercises that you can do. Uh, you know, I've mentioned these uh, in various videos, maybe I'll include one above. Um, 
uh, watch my movement pattern video to if you want to know what are the most important bodyweight exercise muscle building exercises um, but uh, what's most important here is to you know train whole body and what is whole body whole body means you do a pull a push movement pattern and a lower body dynamic movement pattern and you focus every time at getting stronger at these faster at these more efficient at these um, you know, uh, one quote that I mention often is that if it's important, do it every time you train. Uh, this is a quote that I've kind of, uh, I've been influenced from Dan John, my favorite strength coach out there, an author uh, who also was influenced. Uh, it's a base, it was uh, Dan Gebel's training philosophy. Dan Gebel was uh, a wrestler, Olympic gold medalist wrestler and coach who said, if it's important, do it every time. Uh, if it's not, don't do it at all. So uh, I wouldn't be as absolute as that, but I would say definitely uh, in include pull push and lower body movement in every workout. These are what are going to produce, I would say 85, maybe 90% of your results, physique wise, strength wise, building muscle wise. Um, so, uh, you know, this is the, the main uh, lesson from today's video. So that was all for today. Leave me your opinions below. What do you believe about whole body training, split body training? You know, I get a lot of people ask me uh, how to structure their workouts. A lot of body weight exercise trainees use splits, which uh, I would say I'm against. You know, they don't work. They're not efficient. If you're looking for optimizing th things with your physique, with building muscle, it's not the best road to take. So, uh, Still, I want to hear your opinions, even if they're opposite. Follow me on Instagram for uh, daily bodyweight exercise tips and other stuff on uh, psychology, training in general. Uh, you can check out in my Instagram stories what I'm doing on a daily basis. And until next time, keep on training.